Today we're looking at another one of the offerings from Jack Henry, the Cleanse Plus. And we're going to talk about how these guys are using their cleanser to straight up expose other cleansers on the market. According to the brand, this is a concentrated yet gentle all-in-one cleanser for face, body, and hands that's made with prebiotic sea extracts and hydrating botanicals that feed your skin's healthy microbes. They also say this helps alleviate dryness, acne, eczema, and redness. Just like all the other products in the Jack Henry line as well, this one is made with some very specific ingredients. I would say it's very much in line with the other products in the lineup as far as using what's only needed, having no fillers or extras in there. And it appears to me as a product maker myself that they chose their ingredients very specifically and again it's totally in line with the rest of their products and looking at the ingredient list there's just a few things there and it's all very simple there's nothing you can't pronounce it just gives off that simple clean effective vibe that really this brand is known for this brand too is ultimately known for their high price tag too and this one fits right in at $34 for 6.6 .6 ounces or you can get one of their refill pouches for $48 and that pouch is actually 16.9 ounces so that allows you to fill the bottle back up about two and a half times roughly which is also nice because you're saving on packaging as far as using this goes it's very straightforward it, I mean ultimately it's a cleanser so that's body wash face wash hands and you know whatever else you need wash use your imagination there these nuts <laughs> Got what I'm gonna do now though is just do my best to show you what this does using my face. This type of scenario is always a bit awkward for me. It's not like a hair product where I can just show you the results, you know, they're definitive. I mean, it's something I can just point to where I can say, hey, this works or it doesn't. I mean, this is far more basic. It's either gonna clean or it's not. That's the major thing I'm looking for, but I'm also looking to see how my skin feels after. And as I've discussed in the past, I've had a few different ones now that have given me a kind of reaction. Nothing from this brand. I wanna make sure to say that, but there's been a couple now that have made my face immediately look like a tomato or something. It was quite interesting. Obviously, if that happened in this case, I would share it and I would put it in the video, but honestly, nothing like that happened here. Instead, what I see here is my face is clean for one, but two, it's very smooth. It's not dried out. It's not itchy or again, irritated. It's just clean, soft, and overall just pleasant. I mean, it feels good if that makes sense. It just feels pleasant. There's nothing really standing out to me as a red flag on my face or my skin after using this. I also didn't mention the scent purposely because I wanted to talk about it here. I also think the scent isn't too strong. It's listed as a sandalwood, amber, rose, and neroli scent. And usually those are scents that kind of trip me up, but I actually think this smells really good. And it might be weird to say, but I think it kind of smells like Irish spring soap, which I actually really like. But, you know, I got a messed up nose, so take that for what you will. Now, though, bringing everything together and after looking at this cleanser and really testing it out, what I think we have on this one is a pretty solid product. I do like the all-in-one approach with it, but I also like that they made it separate from the shampoo because I think they definitely should be separate. I do see on their site that they say you could use this on your hair if you wanted to, but they actually offer shampoo as well, so I just use that personally, as I think hair and skin should be treated a little bit differently, and obviously they do too because they've got the separate products. But for what this is, I do think it's a pretty solid cleanser in my opinion. I think in true Jack Henry fashion, they made it with good, no BS ingredients, simple, effective, no extra extras, no fillers, and it's got that solid performance. And I think in the end, it really just proves that other cleansers with a million things in them, you know, half that crap you can't even pronounce and just a, a whole page full of ingredients, it's really just not needed. You don't need half that crap in there because this one really has a quarter of the ingredients and it works just as good, if not better, in my opinion. In the end, though, as always, the final verdict is up to you. And if you'd like to check out this cleanser, I will put all the info in the description down below. That's all I got for this one, though. Make sure you do the usual for me like comment and subscribe and as always take it easy i'll see you next time